What is this? Is it safe? Can I eat it? Will it make me feel funny? I'm not the only one with questions. What is it about that? We, we know all about flora, we know all about fauna, but funga remains a mystery. And this year, you may have these same questions. We've had such a great year this year with the rain and we had a lot of snow. It's gonna be weird because of all the moisture. It makes all the mushrooms grow. We're all super excited about that. Ah, uh, yes all that the rain promises and more. This is Jennifer Bell, president of the Pikes Peak Mycological Society. I'm what they call a citizen scientist. I love being in the woods and it all started there. Her organization leads groups of wildlings of all ages to rummage through the Colorado wilderness. There is no average day, <laughs> anything can happen. If you're a person who is lucky, and has had a good life, it's important to give your time. What we consider our biggest job is to take people, especially young people, into the woods. And in one way or another, the kids love it. Cooked or not, I don't like them. I like finding them, I like looking at them. I learned that it was okay to like touch all mushrooms. Who's your favorite? Probably the puffball, that one, or like, the turkey tail. Turkey we can't find, I don't know why. But what's so important about all of this? Nature, mushrooms. If you're a human being who thinks of themselves as separate from nature, you're deluded. My mother didn't do a lot of things right, but one thing she did do right was she got us kids out in the woods without fear. So where do you find these spongy gems? A first time foyer says it's simple. Looking underneath trees where it's nice and shady, that's about all I know in terms of looking for things. After finding nature's bounty, mycological vice president James Shaleen identifies and educates. I think it's really important that we know our poisonous mushrooms as much as our edible ones. And when it's time to pack up and head home, many opt to feast on the spoils of their foray. Yeah, I'm gonna take this and saute it. Never found one of these, we'll probably cook it up today. But perhaps uprooting into a basket and transferring to the skillet isn't for you. Mushrooms to me are my key to good health. Growing up they'd always say like, don't lose your brain cells because you can't regrow them. Now we have lion's mane that regrows your brain cells and memories. That's Petru Dimitru, founder and owner of Microvora, a Colorado Springs business that grows more exotic mushrooms and microgreens. People don't like mushrooms because of what we're used to seeing in the markets. A lot of people do like them, but a lot of people don't, and there's only so much you can do with them. Don't knock it until you have tried like an oyster mushroom that's like fried up really good. And this is coming from someone that didn't like mushrooms to begin with, so I'm a, con I'm a converted man. He says it's natural to be hesitant. It's safer to assume that it's poisonous. So I think it comes from the innate human desire to live. <laughs> I wouldn't encourage anyone to do anything I wouldn't do myself, so I got a first-hand experience about that oh-so-important part of the mushroom encounter, eating them. Mycological Society member and professional chef Chris Starkus was kind enough to cook up a dish using ingredients, including lion's mane mushrooms, from Dimitri's business. If you want to know more about the Pikes Peak Mycological Society, Microvora, or want to take a look at Chris's mushroom recipe, visit KOAA.com and look for the News 5 Originals tab. With digital content producer Aiden Holting, I'm Marcus Kakova, News 5.